Kia ora koutou. Greetings from Aotearoa, New Zealand. My name is Kate de Goldie, and I'm going to talk a little bit about my YA novel, Eddie Eddie. The story concerns Eddie Smallbone. He's 19. He's in that classic YA phase, turning from a late teenager into an adult, and he's in crisis. He's running away a little from, from some of his past realities. He's deeply frustrated by being obliged to live at home with his uncle who's brought him up. And the city he lives in has been flattened by an earthquake and is only very slowly coming back to life. Eddie decides that the only way he can cope with living with Brain is to not be there most of the time. So he cobbles together a new business looking after animals. Along with the animals come humans. And it's the humans he meets, the people, young and old, over the course of the story that bring Eddie to the point where he can think about the past and contemplate a new future. The story is very loosely echoing Charles Dickens's A Christmas Carol. And in the same way as Ebenezer Scrooge is haunted by the ghosts of Christmas past, present and future, Eddie meets three people in his animal care rounds, a wonderful nun, a, a, a strange little child and another person, each of them in their different ways representing the past, present and future. And it's these three people who help Eddie the most to come to terms with what's happened to him and how he might move forward. I wanted Eddie's story to be about the big questions, about loss and bereavement, about religion, our relationship with the notion of God, about what constitutes a family, but I also wanted the book to have the comedy and lunacy of everyday life, all the small routines that we have, the odd people that we meet in our daily round, the people that we love and the people that drive us crazy. So there's a lot of humour in the book. I suppose I've always felt in any of my books, which many of which deal with difficult questions, that the best way to bring a reader to an understanding or to empathy with the characters is to have humour as um, a, a big part of the story. Eddie Eddie is also filled with music. Eddie's a musician. It's filled with books. He's been a great reader, and one of the gifts that his uncle has given him is a life in books. And in many ways, this reflects my own life in books. I've wanted to put the books I've loved on the page and being read by my characters. It's filled with cooking. It's filled with walking dogs around beautiful green parks. It's filled with everyday nutty conversation between young people and old people and it's filled with its main character Eddie looking at the world he's moving into, the world of adults and how incredibly unusual they are in so many ways. Like the city he lives in and loves, Eddie has been in a way brought to his knees and his great struggle similarly to the city is to find a way to recover and bloom again.